Uh, if you live in California and you have a gluten-free diet, you can totally try these. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with you? Que onda cabrones? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to continue our journey on trying out tequila in a can. Now if you watched my last video that I'm going to go ahead and put right here, you guys will see that last week we tried painted donkey tequila in a can. Now we tried the pineapple and the watermelon and instead of trying out the other two flavors that I believe were spicy, ranch water and ranch water, I decided to try something else and we are going to try the cut water spirit tequilas. Now I'm excited for this one because this particular pack that I got has two tequila palomas, two tequila margaritas, and two tequila sodas. Now, the soda ones, I don't think I'm gonna be so excited about, not really my thing. I, I hear soda and I just think of the seltzers, and, and you know, like I mentioned in the last video, I don't really drink seltzers, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about them, but I mean, I'm excited to try them all in general. I am on their website now, and I mean, I am blown away <laughs> by all the different options that they have. now. We looked at their canned cocktails. You see that there's so many different options that you guys could try. I mean, there's vodka mules, tiki rum, mai tais, mango margaritas. I mean, everything. They got it all. So I'm very, very excited. But before we go ahead and read more into what these are, let's go ahead and get started. Cue the music, David. <laughs> Okay guys, now let's go ahead and crack these guys open. Now, I am always excited to look at packaging for things if you're like me. It's just something that really sticks out. Um, so I like looking at what the package looks like, the colors, all of those things. It's really nice packaging and I'm very excited to try these guys out. So, let's see. David, can you just cut to where I already have this set up? Thank you. Like right, okay, that one. <laughs> Oh, great transition, David. Thank you so much. What would we do without David? Let's go ahead and give him a round of applause. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so let's go ahead and continue. So, as I mentioned, these are the three that came in this variety pack. I'm very, very excited to try these out. Now, again, I got these at Total Wine, and you guys can purchase these at TotalWine.com. Not sponsored, guys. I know I say it in every video, but that's where I purchased all of my tequila is, I think it's really great. Prices are always good. Sign up for the rewards programs. You guys can get your discounts. Total Wine, if you're watching this, you should sponsor me. That's all I'm saying. I'm putting it out there in the universe, manifesting. Total Wine, if you're watching this, you should sponsor me. That's all I'm saying. I'm Total putting wine, it out there in the universe, you should manifest. Total Wine, if you're watching this, you should sponsor me. That's all I'm Total saying. Wine, if you're watching it out there in the universe, me. that's all I'm saying. I'm putting it out there in the universe. But let's go ahead and get started. So first we're gonna start off with the tequila margarita. I'm very excited for this one. Now, in the last video with Painted Donkey Seltzers, I recommended to try them out with like some tahini on the rim and you know, over some ice and it just wasn't for me. I didn't like it. So I just stuck these in the fridge and wanted to keep these nice and cold for myself because I just wanted to try them straight out the can if I'm gonna go ahead and have them like this. So tequila lime margarita and we're looking at an alcohol percentage of about 12.5 percent the can volume is at 12 ounces and it is gluten free so if you live in california and you have a gluten free diet you can totally try these <laughs> i was like what's wrong with you okay so a San Diego take on a classic. Our tequila margarita puts a south of the border favorite in the palm of your hand. That tequila imparts a floral aroma with a smooth finish that complements our mix of tart lime, pure cane sugar, and a subtle hint of orange. The combination is a perfectly balanced margarita with a cut water twist. So I'm very excited to try this one out. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Cheers, guys. Oh, wow. You know, and it does give that floral aroma that it talks about on the website. I'm not gonna lie to you, after trying Painted Donkey last week, I wasn't so much sold on these guys. I assumed that they were all gonna taste the same, but you could taste the tequila in this. I mean, you could really taste the tequila. It's pretty, pretty good. 
Alex doesn't partake in alcoholic beverages anymore. If not, he would try one. I know, boo, you know. <laughs> but this is something that he would enjoy. Just know that this, this is something you would enjoy. Okay. I'm just saying, yeah. This is really good, guys. Okay. Wow. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the other one. Now, the next one that we are going to try, let's go ahead and just try that tequila soda. Now this, actually we're gonna leave this one to the end because I have a feeling that this might not be my favorite one. So I'll, I'm gonna save on this one, I'm gonna hold off. We're gonna go ahead and try the tequila paloma one. I'm very excited for this one. I love a good old paloma. So let's go ahead and what I like about the website as well is and the different bever beverages is that it all has a different percentage on alcohol, which is also very interesting. Usually they're all about the same. The Painted Donkey one from last week had about 4.5% alcohol. These have very different ones. We already saw this one has at a 12.5% uh, and this one is at a 7% can, can volume of 12 ounces and also gluten free. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, so this one has a grapefruit citrus twist. Our Tequila Paloma puts a south of the border favorite in the palm of your hand. Okay, we got that with the other one. A little bit of a copy and, t and paste there. Uh, cut water, I'm just saying. The tequila gives a floral aroma with a smooth finish that complements the sweet flavors of grapefruit soda. So, so far that's the only thing that's different in the description. It's, sparky, it's sparkling citrus cocktail that will have you dreaming of your next beach getaway. We'll see if that's true. I don't really like the beach though, but let's try this one out. Salud. Mmm, okay. Look, two for two right now. We're doing good so far. Now, I don't get much of that floral aroma that it talks about in the description. Definitely get that citrus um, smell though, and that taste. It's pretty good honestly two for uh what is it two out of three so far now let's go ahead and jump on to the tequila soda this one guys i i don't know how i feel about this one i don't know if i'm gonna like it and as i'm telling you guys why i don't think i'm gonna like it i'm just gonna have david show you guys right here on the side of me the different types of tequilas um not tequilas different types of beverages that they have so you guys could Go ahead and check them out yourself. A lot of them look really good. Let me know if I should do maybe even a series on this and just go through all their different flavors. Very excited to try them out. Myself, um, if I don't do a series, I'll probably try them out on my own anyways. But again, part of the reason why I don't think I'll like it is I'm, I have the feeling I'm gonna get some of that, you know, uh, Trulies, White Claws, Seltzers, and it's just not really for me, but we shall see guys, we shall see. Oh, they have a whiskey mule too. So that seems good. Okay, gin and tonic, cold brew cocktail. What's a cold brew cocktail? Like, oh, it, horchata vodka. I don't like vodka though, but it, it's a horchata, so I might try it. I think I might do a series on this. I don't know, guys. That's up in the air, but it might end up happening. So let's just go ahead and jump into the tequila soda. Now, the tequila soda has about 7% uh, alcohol, so it's the same as the Paloma and 12%, 12 ounces on can volume, and again, gluten free. Now, this one is very different on the description. We are looking at about only 130 calories, full of spirit, crisp with a kick, tequila and soda water combined with a hint of lime for a smooth and flavorful classic that's ready to enjoy anywhere. So let's go ahead and try this guy out. Cheers, you guys. It's holding a burp in. <laughs> After, listen, after last week's video, I refused to be ma uh, made fun of again. That stupid editing that David did. The <laughs> Anyways, guys, cheers. Just as I thought, trash. I don't like it, no me gusta, uh-uh, not for me. Now, look, I don't mean trash in a bad way, just trash for me. Like, it's like Oscar the Grouch trash, like it's cute, but I don't wanna hang out with it. Well, just as I thought, trash. It, it's not my thing, no me gusto, it definitely gives you, if you like White Claws truly, this is gonna be something that you enjoy, for sure, hands down. But I will say, 
out of the three that we have here, these two were my favorites. So tequila soda and Ascentis. So as I mentioned, these two for sure are my favorites. I enjoyed this one far, these two far more better than, far more better. That's not even a proper sentence. I'm, I'm already, is it? No. I'm already getting drunk. <laughs> Got, <laughs> alrighty guys. So as I was mentioning, I would like to say that these two were my favorites. The tequila soda definitely was not it for me. No me gusto. Now, when it comes to these three, my rating for the Paloma would definitely be a 3.5 out of 5 tequila shots. This would be a 4.5 out of uh, 5 tequila shots. I really, really liked it. The, the, I mean, it was good. It's the perfect amount of that just like citrus flavor and that mixture of tequila. It's just, it's perfect. That 12.5%, 12, uh, 12 I think, really um, kicks in and you taste it. It's just, it's really good. I really, really enjoyed it. This for sure will be the drink in the can for me, for sure. The tequila soda, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to give it a three out of five tequila shots. Again, I don't hate it because, you know, the product, I think Cutwater has a really, really good product here. It's just tequila sodas for me just aren't it. Any sort of seltzer just isn't it for me. But these two right here, for sure, for sure, for sure. If you guys have not tried them, you guys need to try them yesterday. And I want it done last week. I mean, that's how good they are. <laughs> okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos, the products, everything that it has to offer. Again, I really recommend these two guys. I'll even recommend the tequila soda. Again, it's just not for me, but it wasn't horrible either. So guys, Go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want a big shout out to my director slash producer, Alex, and my editor, David. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys next week. Drink responsibly.